All right guys, so here's a quick run around of my brand new project. So we'll see how this one goes. It's a 1973 Pontiac Pre-GN. I just picked it up. Honestly don't know uh, too about it, but we'll figure it out yet. This car came out of the city. Don't know if the previous owner bought it. And I'm assuming it had motor issues because you swapped the motor and the transmission. So it went from a TH350 to a 700 R4. I will have to be linking that up because it's not connected on the trans member yet. As you can see, we are just barely in the stages of getting this thing in here. That's how I bought it. So, there isn't much to this car yet, but I do plan on putting up some videos soon of the car. Because we will be doing lots of work on it, I hope. It's got a little bit of rot here and there, but overall, not too terrible. So, this is just a couple extra. I'm keeping those. The rest of this trim is fairly shot, bent up. We got a little hole, but that's, that's all right. This is the cover for the fuel pump. Another little hole, and that makes up the holes for the most part in the car. Otherwise, this thing is in pretty good shape. I mean, the odd little, you know, hole there and there. You know, regular rot on a North American rust belt car. The interior is, well, not immaculate. We've got a couple parts in here. So, here's the back seat. For the most part, it's okay. Good enough shape. A little bit of rot up there. That will be getting swapped out. And the seat, front seat, well, throw one of those, you know, Mexican blankets over it. Dash pad is absolutely shot. I doubt I'll ever find a replacement for it. New rad from a Delta 88. Gauges that need to get put in yet. All these Duma Dad switches that I don't know. Shifter on the column. Original radio, original pieces. And that's, that's basically what makes up this project till I get some work done on it for you guys. Well, thanks for Here's watching. another little project I forgot to film for you guys. But, basically this mower is a early 2000s Sabre. 15.5 horsepower, 38 inch deck. Bought it, owner said it didn't work. Couldn't get it to start because it would turn over and it would get stuck. And then the starter couldn't twist it over. So, new starter, new solenoid, new ignition switch or you know ignition and that still didn't fix the problem so the motor came off and it was a compression relief uh, relief on the camshaft which i replaced so now everything's finally back together and i can give you guys a quick little run we'll see if it fires does have a bit of an air issue that I have to open up the air valve a little bit because it won't run with those caps and I forgot that, that was my bad, but here you go. 